Once upon a time, in a small town called Sweetville, there existed a magical place known as Chocolate City. It was a place where everything was made of chocolate, and the air was filled with the sweetest aroma that you could ever imagine. Chocolate City was a bustling metropolis, with buildings, roads, and even trees all constructed from the finest Belgian chocolate. The lampposts stood tall, their chocolate glow illuminating the streets, while the cars whizzed by, their shiny chocolate exteriors glistening in the sunlight. The inhabitants of Chocolate City were a diverse bunch. There were chocolate artisans who sculpted magnificent masterpieces out of the rich, velvety substance. Chocolatiers crafted delectable treats, from truffles to pralines, that were famous far and wide. And of course, there were the chocolate lovers, who couldn't resist indulging in the city's sweet offerings. The mayor of Chocolate City, Mr. Willy Wonka, was a visionary and a master chocolatier. He had turned his childhood dream into a reality, creating a city where chocolate was not just a treat but a way of life. Under his leadership, the city thrived, attracting tourists from every corner of the world who marveled at the chocolate wonders around them. One day, a young girl named Lily arrived in Chocolate City. She had heard tales of this magical place and had traveled far to see it with her own eyes. Lily was an aspiring chocolatier herself, and she dreamed of learning from the best in Chocolate City. As Lily explored the city, she was captivated by the artistry and creativity on display. She visited the chocolate sculpture gallery, where lifelike statues of famous figures were carved entirely out of chocolate. She marveled at the Chocolate Museum, where the history of chocolate was showcased through intricate displays and interactive exhibits. But it was the Chocolate Academy that truly stole Lily's heart. There, she met the finest chocolatiers in the world, who were more than willing to share their knowledge and skills. They taught her the secrets of tempering chocolate, creating delicate decorations, and experimenting with unique flavors. Over time, Lily became an integral part of Chocolate City. She opened her own chocolate shop, where she crafted exquisite truffles and personalized chocolate creations for the city's residents and visitors. Her shop quickly became a favorite among the locals, who appreciated her dedication to the art of chocolate making. As the years went by, Chocolate City continued to flourish. It became a symbol of innovation and creativity, inspiring chocolatiers around the world to push the boundaries of what chocolate could be. People would often say that if you wanted to experience true chocolate paradise, you had to visit Chocolate City. And so, the story of Chocolate City became a legend, passed down from generation to generation. It reminded people that dreams can come true, and with a little bit of magic and a lot of passion, anything is possible.